I've been a writer since I was 23 years old. I've written, I guess, about a dozen books. And I started teaching 10 years ago. I was fortunate to be in the San Francisco Bay Area at around the time personal computers started. And I became interested in where they were going and started writing about the future. And um, I plugged my computer into a modem that I plugged into my telephone back in the old dial-up days and became involved in the online world before the internet and the, and the web and became totally fascinated with the conversations that people were having online and was having so much fun and spent spending so much time doing it that I decided to start writing about it, make a living at it, become an expert at it to kind of pay for and justify my, my what we would now call social media habit. So that was the well started by the Whole Earth Catalog people and there's a whole story about the Whole Earth Catalog and the counterculture and its influence on the emergence of cyber culture uh, and the well was uh, a real community where uh, people who met online did all the things for and with each other that people in real communities do we, we met some people got married some people got divorced some people uh, got sick and others sat by their bedside some people died we went to their funerals some people we went to their weddings um, so that's why I started calling these things virtual communities. And of course, in the years since 1985, when the well started, in 1987, when I started writing about virtual communities, this became the World Wide Web and we've got billions of people doing it. I was asked to teach a digital journalism class at Stanford and my daughter was a student there at the same time so it was kind of fun to go to school together for a year but I got hooked on teaching and created a course about social media and the issues that arise from the use of social media because I didn't feel that universities were really teaching about such an important part of everybody's lives uh, these days and became very interested in digital media and learning and have besides teaching students have been involved with helping teachers understand not only the use of social media in learning but the kind of teaching the kind of pedagogy that it affords which is more student-centric and networked and and peer-to-peer -peer and gives more agency to students as learners rather than expecting them to always be taught. Uh, after 10 years of doing it, I've become very interested in freeing up my time to becoming a full-time artist. The process of making art, even if the final product fails, um, it's, it's just, it's fun to do. So I'm, I'm particularly interested in making things with my hands and my eyes and my mind that don't require words to go through my head, which they've been doing for a long time.